just let us in. Luckily for you, this is not a nuclear reactor. So, what'd you get the birthday boy? Well, Raj got him an awesome limited edition Dark Knight sculpture based on Alex Ross's definitive Batman. And I got him this amazing autographed copy of the Feynman Lectures on Physics. Nice! I got him a sweater. Okay, well, he might like that. I've seen him get chilly. Uh, Sheldon, I didn't see your present. That's because I didn't bring one. Why not? But don't ask. The entire institution of gift giving makes no sense. Too late. Let's say that I go out and I spend $50 on you. It's a laborious activity because I have to imagine what you need, whereas you know what you need. Now, I could simplify things, just give you the $50 directly, and then you could give me $50 on my birthday, and so on, until one of us dies, leaving the other one old and $50 richer. <laughs> And I ask you, is it worth it? <laughs> Told you not to ask. Well, Sheldon, you're his friend. Friends give each other presents. I accept your premise. I reject your conclusion. <laughs> Try telling him it's a non-optional social convention. Wait, what? Just do it. Oh. It's a non-optional social convention. Huh, fair enough. <laughs> He came with a manual. <laughs> Question, how am I going to get Leonard a present before the party? I don't drive, and the only things available within walking distance are a Thai restaurant and a gas station. Suppose I could wrap up an order of Meekrob and a couple of lottery scratchers. Okay, um, let's do this. I will drive Sheldon to get a present, and Howard, you need to get rid of Leonard for about two hours. No problem. And then Raj, you bring this stuff across the hall and start setting up. What if guests show up? Entertain them. What if they're women? Stare at them and make them feel uncomfortable. Hey. Hey. How's it going? Fine. So, listen, the new art is showing the revised definitive cut of Blade Runner. I've seen it. No, you've seen the 25th anniversary final cut. This one has eight seconds of previously unseen footage. They say it completely changes the tone of the film. Oh, pass. Come on, afterwards there's a Q&A with Harrison Ford's body double. Look, I am in the halo battle of my life here. There's this kid in Copenhagen, he has no immune system, so all he does is sit in his bubble and play Halo 24-7. Can't you play him some other time? Not if you believe his doctors. Oh my God, do you smell gas? No. Yeah, no.